Who's the nice puppy? Say hi to Erica. Uh, she, she can come in if she wants. Oh, no, no, no. My, my wife's out in the car. Oh, okay. All right. So this flooring had the vertical fir pine on it. Yeah. It was taken off because of flood damage. And I'm walking gingerly on it just because. Yeah. Okay. I mean, aside from being springy, do you think it could be safe? I mean, can you just install floor? Yeah. I'm... The, the character that's in it will be there. We got a lot of nail holes from the old floor. Yeah. Um, but I could make this, I could sand this, and I could make it like a finished floor. It'll look very much like cabin floors. Very much. Um, more cabin so than the character of the house. Oh. Like the house, that's typical for the house. Yeah. That's, and um, when they actually, when they built this, they may have just intended these beams to be uh, subflooring yeah. I mean, and, and not so much a finished floor. Yeah, I mean, if you want to come up and look, I mean, this is the actual floor upstairs. Oh, those floors are exp exposed and used upstairs. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. so, okay, the continuity issue is starting to get a little more yeah. power to it. Yeah. Right, I mean, I think this is... This, this is it? Yeah. Oh, when they painted them blue. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we had. That was the job we had when we moved in. That's all right. Um, can you I look at any of the bedroom any, floors? Sure. Anywhere you want to look. Is there any exposed wood? Wood where you have it showing natural? Without it being painted, I don't think so. I think the entire upper level was painted this color. Okay. Well, it's, it feels pretty sturdy. I don't, I don't have any issue with it being... Uh, yeah. Although I know what you mean. Like I feel more give downstairs than I do up here. Well, there'll mind. definitely be some re-securing of the flooring downstairs. Right. Like, maybe there's more joists here than there is in the basement. I don't know. So let me take a rough measurement of what we have going on here too. Sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 feet wide. Let's just confirm this with the tape measure. It's conveniently hanging out for me. They call it a foot for a reason. They're basically 12 inches. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> what, 14? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. 16 feet wide. So we got 16 feet wide by. Is that your new dining room table or something? Uh, it's actually a just paper display for a, a couch. Oh, okay. 16 by. Yeah. 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 So we need a 16 by 22 in order in order to cover this flooring with a vertical fur. Now, the kitchen flooring, see that's all painted upstairs. I don't know what my best idea is going to be coming to me, but I'm just going to follow Paula's guidance. Okay. Whatever she, she wants is what I will plan for. Okay. All right, and it goes like this. I do like having the extra stability, though then cutting it all away and, yes. and, and then making the floors 
not so not flimsy, but they're certainly two is better than one. Yeah. As far as stability, see that sounds pretty nice and solid. Right. All right. How about we follow the basement stairs and take a little peek? Absolutely. They're outside. They're like around the corner. Oh no, kidding. Yeah. Now we're down in the basement. Yeah. Okay. And that's you know the crawl space. I like how there's plenty of dirt there. I mean, there's plenty of plastic down there. Yeah. And there's that. Um, Actually, now that I look at it, it seems like it does have like the same frequency of joists as upstairs. Yeah. Right? No, they're doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, I would task someone with uh, plasticking underneath the joists. And uh, actually, when there's wood flooring, uh, new wood flooring jobs that are going on and you have a basement like this, yeah. it's actually required as part of the work to put insulation, insulation. and then yeah. a plastic vapor barrier and to make it especially like very tight. Oh, insulation and a plastic yeah, vapor Yeah, you really want to isolate this. From the humidity that can happen down here mm. but this house has done so much uh, acclimation yeah since it's been built that yeah you know everything's kind of used to what's going on here now so the, I, it's not so vital for the upstairs but in new construction you'd want to because your floors would move wildly mm. they, they they'd cup or there'd be huge gaps and it would go back and forth like that a lot but okay, no, I, we don't have anything derogatory down here. The house is happy enough with how it's going. Alright. And let's say I install a new floor of the vertical pine that's two and a half inches wide. Yeah. Um, I would use a moisture barrier as my paper. So right there, that, that film would make its own moisture barrier isolating itself from the basement. I see. So that would be sort of built into yes. what you do. Because this is new flooring that's going in, and that would help to buffer it from the humidity that would want to interact with it. 